Hey there everybody, it's Jason once again with Calgary Reptile Parties and today we're at Got Reptiles we're going to meet one of my favorite types of boa constrictors. So stick around, don't cry for us Argentina, we got some really cool animals to meet. not only uh, has an assortment of animals that they uh, will bring in, but they also do breed some of their animals for their own collection and to, uh, to send out. So this is one of my favorite types of snakes. Uh, this is the Argentine boa, they're found in Argentina. And when they're babies, their colors really vary. They can be this real charcoal gray or sometimes they're quite a bit darker. This one is actually only a couple of months old. Uh, it was probably born sometime uh, in August and it's now beginning of November, so a little over two months. And this is a pretty sizable snake. Uh, it's quite impressive the size they, they are born at. And you notice it said born, not hatched. So boas are actually born alive, as are several other species of snakes, garter snakes, uh, vipers, uh, boas, as I said, and even some lizards like blue tongue skinks. Uh, so basically it's an egg that stays inside mom. And then once they're fully developed, they are born alive. So an absolutely beautiful snake here, but uh, we're gonna see what they grow into uh, in just a few moments. So this is Big Sister. Uh, this is a two-year-old female from the same parents. So you can see how much they darken up over time and how big they get even in two years. Uh, so uh, in this case, they bred them uh, every other year. It's important to not overwhelm your snakes. Uh, oftentimes it's good to just give them a year off, do it every other year. Um, they can have a lot of babies. They can have anywhere from 10 to 30 babies. Uh, and it's, it's pretty incredible. I mean, you'll see mom and it might not seem quite as insane when, uh, when you think about it. But I mean, can you imagine us as people having to deal with 10 or 20 kids? However, with snakes, uh, once they're born, they're on their own. And that's one of the things that kind of surprises people, sometimes makes people a little sad, especially some of our younger, younger friends that's, uh, that learn that. They'll say, does it have a mom or a dad? Well, yeah, they do, but dad pretty much leaves as soon as his job is done. And once the babies hatch or are born, they're on their own. Here's the thing though, when you think about it, from the moment that these snakes at that little baby size take their first breath, they know how to hide, they know how to find food, they know how to protect themselves, they can be defensive, they'll within 24 hours open their mouth and hiss and be like, leave me alone. So it's pretty impressive, you know, whereas us as humans and even most mammals need parental care, snakes do not. But good sized snake, probably about four feet at just two years old. That's one of the things a lot of people don't realize is they see a cute little boa like the, the, the baby that we saw a few moments ago, and within two years you've got this, and within four to five, well, you're going to find out in a moment what they look like as an adult. So this is the reality of boa constrictors. This is mom. She is uh, just under 10 feet of pure muscle. Uh, I know she probably doesn't look that big because you're watching on a screen because I'm 6'8", but this is a large, powerful snake. Uh, what, jumbo rats? Oh yeah, easy. So she will take jumbo rats easily. She could also eat rabbits. This is a lot to handle. And so the males don't get as big. The males average about six feet. The females can get up to nine, 10 feet. On a rare occasion, there's been a few occasions. They've been around that 11, 12 foot range, but that's very, very uncommon. But even this, like the size of its head is just massive. A lot of people don't realize that when you're looking at getting a boa. Now there are a lot of boas that don't get that big. Your Central American boas, uh, Hog Island boas, uh, Kenyan sand boas are a great choice because they stay small. But especially if you don't know whether you're getting a boy or a girl as a baby, you don't know how big they're gonna get until they're done growing. That is a big responsibility. So unless you're prepared to house and care for a big, powerful snake, a boa constrictor, especially an Argentine boa, is probably not the choice for you. But what a beauty, like the colors on these guys 
the black and white is just such a striking pattern, no, no pun intended. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are drawn to lighter colors. I like a lot of the albinism or the white. Some people are drawn to like the darker colors. So your things like your pine snakes, these beautiful dark boas, this is your natural color as well. This isn't a morph, so absolutely spectacular. So that's the Argentine boa, guys. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be visiting uh, Gart Reptiles some more in the future, as well as J&J Reptiles, two amazing reptile shops here in Calgary uh, that actually send their animals all across Canada and sometimes even down to the States, depending on the animal. Um, it's so great to have small businesses like this that are so into reptiles and really know their stuff. Uh, so support your local reptile business, especially right now with COVID. They're the ones that really need your support. Even if you're not getting an animal, getting your supplies, your rodents, your crickets, that's going to mean so much more to a small business, a small reptile shop, an independent shop than it is to your big chains. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Make sure you check out Got Reptiles info down in the info below. And uh, we will see you next time.